Question 2.3 states that to combat the influence of load chilling, Ms. Adonis investigate different power solutions. She considers installing a solar power system but finds that the cost of such a system has increased drastically. So she inspects other rent-to-own options. The advertisement below shows two options, a rent-to-own as well as an option to buy it with a once-off payment. While table 3 shows additional costs for installing the solar power system. The rent to own option requires a deposit of 5,472 Rand 78 cents with a monthly payment of 1,216 Rand 17 cents over a period of 18 months. If it is bought with a once off payment, the cash price is 35,999 Rand. This cost excludes extra equipment and material of 14,300 Rand and labor per hour or part thereof of 102 Rand 88 cents. Now there is a note that states that the rent to own refers to the option of renting a system by paying it monthly and then having the option to buy it at the end of the loan term. Question 231 states that to determine the cost of paying back the system on the rent to own option, Ms. Adonis sets up the following table. She used the following formula to complete the table. The cost of rental equals 5,472 Rand 78 cents plus 1,216 Rand 17 cents multiplied by the number of months. We are given the table that lists the months in the first row and the cost of the corresponding month in the second row. There are three unknown values labeled F, G and H. You have to complete the table on answer sheet 1 by calculating the missing values F, G and H, showing all calculations. Now we start by calculating F, which is the total amount paid for renting the solar power system for one month. Substituting 1 for the number of months into the formula for the cost of rental will give us 5,472 Rand 78 cents plus 1,216 Rand 17 cents multiplied by 1. Simplifying this equation will give us the value for F of 6,688.95. Next, we calculate G, which is the number of months for paying the cost of rental of 20,066.82. Substituting the cost of rental of 20,066.82 into the formula, will give us the equation 20,066.82 equal to 5,472.78 plus 1,216.17 multiplied by the number of months. We solve this equation by subtracting 5,472.78 from both sides of the equation. We do this to get rid of the 5,472.78 on this side of the equation. Simplifying this equation will give us 14,594.04 equal to 1216 rand 17 cents multiplied by the number of months the next step is to get rid of the 1216 rand 17 cents on this side of the equation we do this by dividing both sides of the equation by 1216 rand 17 cents Simplifying this equation will give us the number of months equal to 12. So G equals 12 months. Next we will calculate H which is the total amount paid for renting the solar power system for 18 months. Substituting 18 for the number of months into the formula for the cost of rental will give us 5,472 Rand 78 cents 
plus 1216 rand 17 cents multiplied by 18. Simplifying this equation will give us the value for h equal to 27,363 rand 84 cents. Question 232 states that answer sheet 1 shows the graph of the cash option drawn. You have to use the information calculated in your table to draw the graph showing her repayments over the 18 month period. To draw the rent to own option, you're going to have to plot at least two points. Now the first of the two points must be the starting point and the second point can be any point you choose from the table. We will then join and extend these points in a straight line to form the graph that represents the rent to own option over the 18 month period. So the first step is to plot the starting point. In this case, the starting point is at month one. The cost for month one was calculated to be 6,688.95 cents. So we plot a point at month one and 6,688.95 cents. Step two is to plot any other point in the table. For this example, I will choose 15 months at a cost of 23,715 rand 33 cents. Finally, we join the line and extend the line forming a straight line from the starting point at month one to the end point at month 18. Question 233 states that Mr. Donis found out that the installation will take 8 hours and 45 minutes on the first day and 5 hours and 56 minutes on the second day. You have to calculate the cost of installing the cash option solar power system. Now the total cost to install the cash option of the solar power system will be the sum of the cash price of the solar power system plus the cost of the extra equipment and materials and the total labor to install the system. The cash option of the solar power system is listed as 35,999 Rand and the cost of the extra equipment and material is listed as 14,300 Rand. The total cost of the labor needs to be calculated because only the labor cost per hour is given. We were told that the installation took 8 hours and 45 minutes on the first day and 5 hours and 56 minutes on the second day. This gives us a total time of 14 hours and 41 minutes. Now if you read carefully you will note that the labor is charged per hour or part thereof. The part thereof in the statement is important. It means that if we have a time that extends into the next hour, we're going to have to round it up to the next full hour. Even if it's just one minute into the next hour, we still have to round it up to the next full hour. The phrase or part thereof comes up a lot in question papers. So this is something you're going to have to look out for in future exams. In this case, we have a time that extends 41 minutes into the next hour, so we have to round this time up to the next hour. When we do that, we have a total time of 15 hours. Now to calculate the total cost of the labor, we multiply the cost per hour by the total hours of 15. And this equals a total cost for labor of 1,543 Rand 20 cents. Now the total cost to install the cash option solar power system is 35,999 Rand plus 14,300 Rand plus 1,543 Rand 20 cents. And this equals 50,299 Rand.